All right, guys, and welcome to another mapping video. Um, we're going to be doing the Ethiopian Empire, but today we have a new host. Or, not a host, but a participant, and his name is Shadow Bear, one of my best friends. He has Hello. his own channel that I'll be linking in the description. Uh, yeah, say hi. Even though you just did. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, he's going to be participating in, um, in this video because he's pretty cool and he's a nice friend. Uh, yeah, but we're going to get started, so if I can, uh, just get one of my tools out. Okay, oops, that's a little bit too big. Let me just lower my brush size to 14, because 14 is the best. Okay, so first off, we have the Ethiopian, um, Ethiopian government turning themselves into a fascist regime. And they go, you know, they, they go empire stuff. They do empire stuff. <laughs> okay. But let's, um, let's, you know, let's get to the good stuff. Since this is what you guys came for. Yeah. Okay, so starting, we have, um, Ethiopia, you know, we're starting the empire and doing all that stuff. So to start off, we have Ethiopia, you know, invading its northern borders. And we can do western, but that's fine. So, we do that. So, they do a major breakthrough. And um, all fronts, we have, I forget what this country is called, but we don't. It's called, I'm pretty sure it's called Azza. Is it? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it's, it's called. Okay, I'm looking at Google Earth right now, it's called Dijibouti. I'm sorry if you're oh. living there and watching this, and I just massacred your name. But, uh, yeah, we got this, um, we got this. That's, that's its, like, official name. It's, it was, its original name was Azza. Well, we got that country capitulating, and it's very small, so okay. Um, we have the Ethiopian Empire pushing from the uh, their borders, of course. And then, you know, these guys are forced to surrender since half of their population is gone. Okay, so now with all of these guys out of the way, all we have is Somalia left. So first off, we got them capturing the coastal areas to, you know, blockade and all that. And so they do that. And now Somalia is literally encircled. We have them um, push and push. And if you're looking like this, what are you gonna do? Uh, um, surrender. Exactly. They surrender. I was gonna say something else, but like that could possibly get the video tang down. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now with the um, with the uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm stuttering again. But as you can see, uh. Annexation of these countries? No, not that. Ethiopia has water. If you look yeah, at the water. original borders, um, they had no water. I'm pretty sure they had some lakes, but they have water. And what does water lead to? Uh, nations. What? Well, yeah, but what? What other um huge military branch does it lead to? Yeah. A navy, right? Yeah. So but it Ethiopia. Also yeah. well, yes, it can lead to other regions, but it can also they can also build one of the first Ethiopian navy, they, like ever. It's gonna take a little while, doesn't it? Anyways, we, let's um have this peace treaty. Okay, looking at this peace treaty, we can see that Ethiopia just annexed literally everything, but now they can focus on their navy. Um, this will take about like I'll say like at least three years. So let's skip to three years. Now, Ethiopia is ready to do some empire stuff, and they look towards the west. And what is that big nation into the west? Sudan. Sudan. Or Sudan. Whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Anyways, we have um, declare war on Sudan or Sudan. I don't care, like I said. But, yeah. Immediately, the Ethiopians with their now massive... Are, well, they don't have a massive, but they have a okay size of a navy they will you know send them off from the coast boom 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 and now actually let's do something new the i think let's set the navy like to like a more shaded out color like this looks yeah. way better so now we have the navy pushing up towards the border and boom we have um they have naval superiority naval well, yeah, I think he only needs Navy support already there. But let's say... Ooh, what was that? 
let's not talk about that. But okay, but looking at this now, you can see that um, they have navy superiority over Sudan or Sudan. But you know what this can do now, right? Bed from water. Yes, and that is called a beach invasion. So we have um landing from the beaches and invading from land, and that is a pretty strong combo, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it definitely worked in many other wars from the past. And now they now they look like this. That's pretty not very good for them, even though they had they only lost like I say like three per, or ten percent of the land. But that's not even the worst part yet. We have them pushing as hard as they can. But with these events happening, the globe had now in their now housed in their history book that Ethiopia has literally invaded all of its north and eastern neighbors, and now is invading Sudan. But this makes Ethiopia look bad, doesn't it? I mean, there's a lot of wars all over Africa, but yeah, yes, but definitely. we now we have a threat of Africa. This is literally just like the German version of Africa, um, of Africa right now. Which is not yeah. very good, isn't it? Because if it owns all of Africa, it's basically one of the biggest countries in the world, isn't it? One of them. I mean, if you if a country owns all of Africa, I'm saying like one of them because there will still be like second place, third place, four. I've so you're saying that the entire continent of Africa is not, is not bigger than Russia? Not saying that I'm saying it's like, going to be first be place. Like, That's an entire continent. That's your. I know, but I'm saying like there's still there, there's still is a chance that other people could like start invading and become bigger. Well, that's a possibility now, but uh, if it's NATO, um, quote unquote, that is invading them, then I think they'll just return the original borders of these countries with a little bit more complex versions. But immediately they're saying that there's another German version, but in Africa. So this makes them look bad. So immediately we have supplies being imported from um, America and from Europe. So like a lot of the NATO members are like, "Hey, let's go supply." Um, are you Dang. in NATO? I don't think you're in NATO. Uh, so someone's not in NATO. Yeah. So we have all of these countries right here. Um, I think you're in NATO. I think you're in NATO. I think you're in NATO. Hungary's in NATO. Hungary's in NATO. Yeah, Greece is in NATO. Hungary's in NATO. You're, I don't, you're, you're in NATO? And I don't think you guys Turkey's are in NATO. In NATO. I think Albania's in NATO. And Turkey. Okay. So a lot of um, Turkey members. Uh, I don't want to just do this. because Turkey members. I, NATO members. A lot of NATO Turkey members, members are supplying the, Su the Sudan military. But come on. We have, uh, this, is a, this is Ethiopia's video. And so they always get the buff. So... Literally, the supplies of all of NATO, which is you're basically having like one of the strongest militaries at that point, it does not do anything to the Ethiopian Empire, and they actually laugh at them. And so, by this oh, wow. point, they do a big, uh, what you call this? No way, I really forgot what's it called. Spear attack? A spear attack. They do a huge spear attack. I'm very sorry if I forgot that. Because I was literally saying that like a thousand times before this video. But we have these guys encircled. And so they surrender. And we have the surrender of Sudan. So let's look at this peace treaty. So looking at this peace treaty, we can see that the Ethi Ethiopian Empire is very big. Um, is it is it the biggest country in Africa? Uh, yeah, it has to be. Because uh, grab the entire country size and overlap it from the, the countries in Africa. It's, I think it's the biggest country in Africa right now. Yeah, Actually, yeah. It's mm, no, cause grab. Let's say if I grab this land and put it on top of this country, it is bigger than it. <laughs> you wait. Stop moving the. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Thing I got you. Quick. I got you. You can fit uh, a Nigeria. You can you can fit Nigeria four times in there. So yeah, it's probably bigger than most of these nations. Yeah. So um, this is a very big threat to uh, you know, the world. But not the world, but Africa. Well, maybe the world because isn't that what Ethiopia is thinking right now? I mean, nuclear bombs would be coming in handy if things go messy. <laughs> well, let's say they're already they are, to Hiroshima. Uh, let's say they are making bombs, but immediately they're not done with their conquest. They look down south and they see the country of Kenya, 
and they're like, we need you. And so they declare war on it. Not pretty good, right? Uh, and they declare war yeah. on Uganda. So, uh, that's sad. So they began Ooh. doing their massacre. And they just, they just go. They go at it. Yay, war. Well, Uganda and Kenya are like, this is not very good. So let's unite together. And they, they, they unite. Doopity doop doop boop. Yes, I'm gonna have to get these guys back too. Alright. So, this can only do a little bit. Like, yes, they united. It makes them look bigger, but they do like a, like a little bit of a counteroffensive. But all they can do is watch as. Oh, what was that? Hey. All they can do is just. Hmm. Okay, there yeah, you go. Great. All they can do is just watch as they just get eaten alive. And eventually, they are made to surrender. <coughs> Not very good. So, um, let's look at this peace treaty. With the Treaty of Kampala, we can see that um, Ethiopia is just wow. We can see that the people of Ethiopia can enjoy water. They, got, they, they, they have um, access to the water. They have a little link right here. And Can they could have drank water before. They could have just bought some from the store. Yeah, but it's easier now. But like, imagine like, imagine only getting water from lakes. There'll be a lot of uh, a little bit of water. I mean, they'll still have water inside the stores, but not that, not that, not that big. But if you have access to ocean, now that's different. You got navy, and you got more water. And what does that do? Make civilian happy, and civilian do not want to do a counteroffensive and declare a war, doesn't it? And Ethiopia also opened up their its first McDonald's. Yay! They can probably start they making finally got water. But now with um, Ethiopia happy as it can be, it looks west to the Central African Republic, and it declares war on that. That's not the Central African Republic. That's the Central the one African. Below that. that's, that's, that's the Central African Republic. I'm looking at Google it's Earth the, right now. It's the one below that. No, no, that that's Democratic Republic of Congo. Is I can see the borders right now. And in this right here is the Republic of the Congo. There's two Congos. It's just, it, it, I told you see it like the, Africa is just a massacre of borders. Okay. What happened to Africa after like. The British Empire and the French colony <laughs> even Empire though, collapsed. Even though that um, they just got done with a war, they do not chill. They just keep going. And they keep going. They do a um, spear attack towards the border of Central African Republic, which is like right here. Yep. And so they're forced to surrender. Now, instead of, um, you know, just saying... Let's look at this peace treaty over and over and over again. Let's say that, oopsies, um, for the first time ever, the Central African Republic is now a puppet and a buffer state to the Ethiopian Empire. So the border is going to be at least from here. And boop. And we'll have the African, or the Ethiopian Empire annex all of this. Soon to be African. Definitely Empire. Africa. Definitely African. Yeah. Boom. Now they have a buffer state. Very good. This is very good for the Ethiopian Empire because now they definitely are the biggest country in Africa. But what is on top of the Central African Republic? Wait. The country they, of Chad. Oh no, not the Chad. Now nation. you know this is going to be a war that um, it's going to be very hard for the uh. The, um, the Ethiopians to win. They declare war on it anyways. But they can do so oh. little. So they the can Ethiopian only just Empire do like a little resist. bit. I mean. They. they, they, they just like a little bit of resistance. They do a breakthrough. Like this. But as that, that's as far as they can go. They can't go further. There's just like death everywhere now. So they make a. um, They make trenches. And this leads it to trench warfare. If you're blind, the trenches will lead all the way from here, and this is the entire front line. So, if, if you're a civilian living in um, Chad, 
And if this is happening, just don't go to these areas. Just don't. Trust me, you'll die. Anyways, with um, Chad being invaded by the um, Ethiopian Empire, it's, this is going to be a deadly war, okay? Like, this is not going to get good. This, uh, this is not going to be good. Um, Did the Ethiopian Empire ever exist? I don't know. Let me actually search that up. I, Cause I could have sworn I played like I played Hearts of Iron before, right? Mm -hmm. And it showed like Ethiopia, like as the Ethiopian Empire. If you've ever played like, oh World no, it 56. did exist. The Ethiopian Empire was the country that got invaded by Italy in the in World War Two. Oh, it was an yeah, empire. Yeah. Okay, okay. It, I guess Hearts of Iron was, just didn't. It was probably it. the smallest empire to ever exist. Huh. Anyways, um. Chad, Chad, even though it's a strong country because it's Chad, um, they know they're going to fall. They're going to fall like in a span of months. So they go, hey, Niger, you want to unite with us? And, you know, Niger's just like, sure. Like, I want to join the party too. So we have two superpowers, or the biggest superpowers of Africa, which is Niger and the Ethi Ethiopian Empire. So, um... You know, this is not gonna good be good for Africa since a lot of it a lot of it is at war. They ask Nigeria, Hey, Nigeria, do you want to join us? And Nigeria goes, You know what? Hmm. Let me think about it. And they think about it. Wait a minute. Was that Niger did I actually? Wait, because it says that Niger is actually bigger. Oh no, okay, I did actually get Niger. Okay, so this is Nigeria. So they asked Nigeria yeah. to um, join us too. And now we have the... <coughs> the Chad Nigerian... The Chadian Nigerian Nigerian Alliance. That was a tongue twister. The Giga Chad Empire. <laughs> Technically. I don't know if they're, they're, like a, they're not going to be an empire, but... Now, can you see the difference? Uh, there's a, there's a, uh, cold, there's strength? a cold war. Strength? Strength and uh, size. So, a lot of NATO members see, say, "Hey, this is actually pretty pointless. Like, we're just wasting resources." So they st they, they stop the entire Lonelys, except for one yeah, nation. Like, what is this? And you know what? That what like, you know what? You know what doesn't stop the Lonelys? Really? Luxembourg. Oh well, they just lost all their equipment immediately. <laughs> But there's something going to be interesting happening in that country, so don't worry. The Baltics are still sending weapons. I guess the Baltics like to be happy. Okay, so, um, even though the, um, I, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry for the people that are, like, reading, like, I mean, not reading, but watching this, man. Okay. I always say, um, in my videos. <laughs> I need to stop that. It's, it's cringe. Anyways, I almost said it. It's just a word. It's not cringe. Okay, so immediately with the union now being formed in Africa, we have the the Chads, you know, pushing them back to the border. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I literally just got done to get a shower, and so what? 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 Whatever like cut you saw was like in one hour cut for me, so I do not remember anything we were doing here, but I guessing like uh the war with giga chad no i know the war with giga chad that was going on but there was uh, i know we canceled the, the um the whole lenley's luxembourg and the and the baltics are still doing that oh yeah okay yeah okay i remember now okay so i think they were doing like their yeah I left off like they're restoring their original borders now because they pushed them back in a counteroffensive. So now with that counteroffensive done, um, they make peace negotiations and the war with um, Chad is done. Uh, beat, Ethiopia just got beat. Got beat. I guess it was a, a a white peace you can say. But since but you always learn from your mistakes. Remember that. And so you might be asking, well. What does that war have to do with anything? Well, you're right. It didn't have to do with anything. But it now that um, well, it, the Ethiopian Empire knows that Chad is stronger, it can just avoid it. 
So you might be asking yourself, what are they going to invade next? Well, isn't it obvious? They border Libya. And Libya is, well, it's sad to say that nobody likes Libya, so. They also <laughs> border Egypt, too. So, um, yeah, they invade Libya. So starting off, they get their um, navy and they send them off here. So, boop, they get this, do that stuff. Okay, so they send their navy over here. If you're wondering how did they like get their navy here, if it's like a, you know, this. I think there's a river around this area. I might be wrong, but that's how they got their troops there. Anyways, um, we have, you know, the, um, <laughs> dang it, speak it out, uh, spit it out. Uh, we have the Ethiopian navy arriving at the scene. And boom, I have to do every ma I have to do everything manually, don't I? Yeah. Huh. Okay. So now with the um, with the Ethiopian Navy now here, Libya's like, you know what? I'm tired of this stupid Navy crap. Every war Ethiopia has been in is because they they won because of the Navy, obviously. So they start making the navy, and now there's going to be heavy clashes of actual. I'm pretty sure Libya already had a navy. Yeah, that's why I'm doing that. But yeah, so you there's heavy clashes of navy battles in this area over here. So if you're living here, I mean, I don't know how you're going to be living there, but yeah, if you're just living in the ocean, if you're wait, if wait, you're wait, a on. let me fish. see in Google Earth there's islands there. Okay, there is islands. So if you're living you're in one a of these fish. I mean, no, there's islands there, like, with pretty, you know, like, pretty, um, what you call it, pretty famous islands. So, if you're taking a vacation, and this war is happening, don't go. Don't, if you're also don't a fish, you're if you're dead. also a fish, don't swim, to don't swim towards there. You're, you're dead. You're a dead man if you go there. Anyways, we have, um, we have the Ethiopian military invading. We also have a beach landing since you can see that there's a little connection over here. So we got that and they go like that and boom. We have one of the deadliest speed, um, sp not speed, spirit, spirit. Um, spirit attacks in the Ethiopian history because it's, you can see that like, if you go to Google Earth and you can see what we're doing here, all of this is desert and it takes, this, this is like, it, this is like, it takes like miles and days and all that to get connected. Yeah, you're literally just walking through the Sahara Desert. And you're being shot at in the same time, but they still are managed to do it. And these guys are finally cut off and they're forced to surrender because they have no resources. Um, if I am incorrect, the Libyan... Okay, the Libyan uh, capital is here. I just looked in Google Earth and it's called Tripoli. So if they reach this, it's game over. That's that's a new thing with the channel. Okay, I'm I'm in every war. I'm gonna add you know capitals. So we have the capital over there. Eventually we'll have the um the Ethiopian navy push back the Libyan navy, and he capture half of this island. That's pretty good. Oh, would yep. you look at that? They do a spearhead into the navy. With the navy, I mean. And boom. That is a pretty good idea for a beach in invasion at the uh, capital, isn't it? Yeah. Boop. Game is over. Doo -doo -doo. And we have... If they, would, if they would just change the capital, you, you don't get annexed immediately. I mean... It's just, just to speed things up. If you capture the if you capture a capital, it's basically game over. The capital holds everything. Without a capital, you can, you're done. They can still move it. Yeah, but it's not as in in realism, it's not like quite Ford. Like you don't capture a capital and move I'm it. not talking about hearts of iron, I'm just yeah, talking about like in But general. in real life you can't just move a capital. Like everything's already stored there. The government, everything. So once you just if you know it, your cap if if you know your just to make things, almost... just to make this video like one second shorter. Just, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just so saying, let's look like at in this. real life, uh -huh. they just move their stuff. Yeah, but um, if they know their it's pretty hard to move a building, it. isn't it? I'm not talking about buildings. I'm like the, like... a lot of Congress and all that's there, but yeah, let's look at this peace treaty. Looking at this peace treaty, we can see that Libya was just completely destroyed. Like their capital, their capital, <laughs> capity is just gone. But now there's a country right here that's very tiny, like very tiny. 
there's no like nobody's gonna help this country so immediately we have war being declared, and um it's not gonna be looking too good yeah so right like right away they got their military just pushing up boop 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 like a little naval invasion there and yeah they're done and now let's look at this freaking peace treaty yep it was expected and they got annexed but look at the mass of this thing it's just humongous now with um i just said um okay with the Ethiopians now bordering Egypt, they completely surround them. And with L Egypt, well, with the time of me recording this video, they're not in NATO, so, um... Probably yeah. will never join NATO. Who, who knows? Who knows? Um, we have... I mean, usually African nations never join NATO. Mm, but, you know, Egypt is Egypt. Just saying. Yeah, but immediately we have the... Why am I using that color? <laughs> Allied colors. Immediately we have the um dude. Guys, I'm about to scream. <laughs> okay. We have the You're allowed to say um, it doesn't matter. Hey, I don't want to keep going um 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 all the time, dude. I do that all the time too. Ah, oh, fine, I guess you're right. Anyways, um I'm sorry. Oh guys, I'm sorry. We have the Ethiopian Empire's forces just completely surround the entirety. Well, not entirety, but they got some land, you know. And I don't even need to look at Google Earth. I know that their capital is located exactly here. So if you take that, you're dead. So immediately- I honestly never look at any capital of any African nation. That's kind of racist, to be honest. Well, I don't do it with Asian nations either, or European nations. I only nah. mainly. It's not racist. That's I'm just saying. Anyways, we I, mean, got I don't look at certain capitals. We have I, I didn't even know the capital. Okay, we have the unstoppable African Empire just demolishing this entire country. So eventually, they reach the you know the capital. They surround it, and they take it. And this can lead to the collapse of Egypt, which is what happens. And um, with the peace treaty, they just get the full annexion. There's no holding back. So let's just get out rid of their borders and let's just skip into what they're gonna do next. With with um, with the Ethiopian Empire now bordering Algeria, which is a pretty big nation, and they'll be able to border Morocco, which they're probably not gonna invade anyways. This is gonna be the last target. So um, they declare war on Algeria. So immediately they get their forces together, they scramble to get to the border, and they start their plan and execute it. And immediately they start to, you know, uh, do their stuff. But a couple of days later, we have the Estonians taking it a little. Estonians, we have the Baltics taking it a little bit too far and give the Al um, Algeria a lot of Algerians. Navy. Yeah, the Algerians a lot of navy. And look, um, with the European country, European countries looking at this, they do the same. Yes, a lot of them do. A lot of them do that, and then Canada joins too. No okay. Switzerland at a naval. Oh, and China, because why not? Yes, okay. why not? So, um, <coughs> excuse Good. me. Good. Um. Dude, hey, hey, voice, just don't say that, okay? Like, just, just don't say that. That's a naughty word to me. No. Uh, what, 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 what word? You know. Anyways, we you. have the uh, uh, we have the Algerian navy get deployed, and they get into a defensive stand, ready and poised to attack anybody that wants to attack. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we, they took that a little bit. Naval. I think they took that a little bit too seriously. Yeah, they sent their entire naval, of course, like everywhere in the damn world. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they deployed their navy and they put it on a defensive stand, and they encircle this island. Well, so they can just. It's Italian, know. though. Yeah, but they're not. 
well, it's around the island. It's not, you know, it's gonna destroy the entire island with a bombardment. It's just around it. Ah, oh, damn! Why are they putting so much naval in there? And the Libyan. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. We got the Ethiopian Empire's Navy joining in, and we have heavy clashes. I mean, very heavy clashes in these areas. If you're a fish and you're living there with your family, you're dead. There's no you can escape. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. It's not gonna be. Okay. It's fi finding Nemo. So these not are one of dead. the deadliest battles. These are one of the deadliest naval naval battles in African history. So that's good to know. Okay, so in a span of at least two months, we have the Algerian military pushing the entirety of their military force to the limit, and they captured a lot of land. We can see how close the capital of um, Algeria is to the front lines, and that's not pretty much, that's not good. So immediately we have, uh, you know, but Ethiopian also, artillery just bombing the city, and go ahead. The, Ethi the Ethiopian Empire also lost 5% of their navy. Yep, that's not good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not good at so all. they push and push, and the island is under siege. And so now, uh, in the span of like two days, there's a battle going on in the city. And it's encircled. I mean, they haven't captured the capital yet. It's under siege. But yeah, the war's not over. They haven't taken it. So they just keep pushing and pushing. They do like this thing with the border to try to encircle them, which they do, but that doesn't stop the Algerians. They know well. So they beg for help. They call in Morocco and Morocco was like, we'll save you. And so yeah, which is probably not going to work since they're a tiny nation. Morocco is actually a strong nation. I'm just so, saying like it's tiny, Ethiopians but... like. To them, Ethiopian. To, to the Ethiopians, they're, like, not strong. So, yeah, but, you know. It's pretty strong. So, they're able to cut off these troops out of the border. And they, they rescue the capital. And these guys are forced to surrender since they have no supplies. So, that was a big sign of relief, wasn't it? It was. Okay. So, we have big... um. A big massive attack over here, which causes a battle of a bul the, the battle of the bulge, and um, that's what she said. <laughs> we have um, we have the Algerian military liberate the northern front. They better liberate it. We see them. I mean, go Ethiopia, whatever. We see the um, Algerians liberate the south, and it's looking pretty good for the good side, isn't it? Yeah. In the span of like three weeks, we see them push them back to the borders. But, well, yeah, that's good. But they just attack again, but only from this side. They're, you know, well, they're going to have to wait like a couple of months to actually send their military like that. Because a, a lot of their military comes from the south, which is their main um, state. So it's going to take yeah. like, a lot of time to actually reach the capital in order to do attacks over here, you know? Oh, is Ethiopia still democratic? No, it's fascist. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's not doing Need too good clarification. for the Ethiopians. But let's say yeah. three months pass and it's going to be doing real good for the Ethiopians. We just have a massive army just just go crazy with it and so they take about this much land oops yep that seems like a pretty good amount big for chunk, the time. isn't it yeah it's and like so, a it's like you're eating a chunk of ice cream but it keeps on falling off and you finally get that good one boom <laughs> yeah and we have the battalions connecting together and if we Did zoom into our ultimate super uh <laughs> super map mode we can see the battle happen in the capital and uh we can see the forces you uh change your obs so they can see this oh uh, yes they can i'm looking at it right now Be good <laughs> anyways so what's going to happen is we have the um ethiopian troops just push up you know do their thing and their battle plan right now is if i go to my battle plan mode yes this is going to be real interesting, isn't it? 
So if we go like that, do that. And we're gonna like that. Very interesting. So their battle plan, plan is they? to seize this type of land, so they could do that. And but the Algerian troops attack. So we have heavy clashes in this area right here. So I feel bad for this little village over here and this little like park over there. But we see Algerian troops get more reinforcements from the uh. Well, they don't get reinforcements, but they get supplies. And you know what supplies do, right? Yeah, they increase uh, your infantry. Uh, rate of winning. Yes. Yeah. So, it arrives. Doop. 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 And doop. So, they arrive, and they get onto their positions. And if we go zoom out... Okay. So the battle is now raging, and we can see, well, that battalion that you just saw in the ultra zoom mode is now reaching the city, and there's heavy clashes in this area like you saw. Yeah, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you use a telescope, you, it's like shows you the future, so you yeah. saw the future right there. Well, yeah, you saw what was going to happen, so they push up, doo -doo -doo -doo, and heavy clashes, and eventually, the, um, the city is going to, you know, just get encircled again and we'll we'll go into our ultra zoom mode to see the battle actually happen in real time so that'll be nice and interesting won't it it will so if we go they're gonna do a humongous you know spear attack in the circle of the algerians and it's just over boom so now if we go zoom in okay we can see that the algerians don't stand a chance they can't there's no way they're gonna win this so immediately we have the Ethiopian troops just push, like they just go full at it. And this armored tank over here is just like heck no and retreats all the way up to here. Wham! Let me just uh put you back up over here. Okay. And so these guys hold their ground, so they push up. Boom! 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 Just heavy clashes in this area over here. Like, it's not going to be so good. So we can see a huge attack just happen. These guys are, you know, they're forced to retreat. These guys push up. They push, push, push. Armored division reinforcements arrive. And um, they're forced to retreat into the actual capital. And just look at the amount of these forces, dude. Uh, you can already tell what's going to happen here. Mm-hmm. They just Algeria is totally gonna win. Yep, they're totally gonna win. But let me zoom out. Remember this country, Luxembourg. Yeah. It joins the war. In and it probably is gonna get annexed immediately. <laughs> no, but it joins these guys. But they're very strong in this universe. Uh, well, not in this universe scenario. So whoever's watching this, and if you're Luxembourgish, be proud. So let's zoom right back in. Okay. The Luxembourgish troops arrive. So let's just get this and... Oops, that's the wrong guys. Boom. Like, you can just see the amount of forces they get, dude. You know, they're a tiny nation. <laughs> Yes, but they got a strong military. <laughs> so they arrive to defend the city. So they arrive in this section. Boom. They're going to try to encircle them. So it's going to be an encirclement within an encirclement. How does that make sense? It, it exists, though. I know. And you can see what's happening. But I think the, the Ethiopians might win. They have probably much more troops. So they... So even though they're in circle, they charge and they go crazy. This full out war, destruction everywhere. We eventually have these guys get killed. Oh my god, I'm getting killed. These guys die. So they put their main focus over here and then one over here. It's just this is mayhem, dude. Everybody's just getting destroyed. Yeah, kill everybody for fun! Yeah! 
Yeah, yeah. No, there's just too many of them. Jesus. And they eventually just get more. I hope you should just surrender at this point. Luxembourg is... No, there was this. Uh, there was this one time in Hearts of Iron where it, where uh, Luxembourg was this overpowered nation, <laughs> and you can see what's happening. And it's not going too good with the Ethiopians, isn't it? Retreat. Not really. So let's zoom back out. We. Okay. You're really so... making your job a lot harder than it has to be. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we can. Oh, see, during editing. We can see the liberation of all of this because you know. And we can see in the circle mints happen. And boom. Daddy Luxembourg did this. Yes, they did. And with Daddy their Luxembourg. job well done, they finally go back to being a little tiny country and they exit out the war. That's all they wanted to do. Oh. They just wanted to be recognized as a country that saved a country. Well, now there's going to be a huge enemy to the Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. So now we got them encircled and destroyed. Among and us. in the span of a couple of months, they have returned to their borders. Again, fighting to the death. And you can see a lot of resistance just get killed out. And the the fighting in the, um, what you call it? The sea is over. And it's a Algerian victory. They lost 50% of their, uh, what's called, naval yep. power. It's not looking way, it's not looking good to, uh, it's not looking way too good for Ethiopia, isn't it? It's really not. I mean, they could just surrender and they could still have this big empire. And that's what they do. I don't... In a span of two weeks, they make a peace treaty and the war is officially over. I mean, I, I, I should keep this on. But yep, they stop all of the lend leases. Luxembourg is very happy, boy. Oops. And Luxembourg's probably going to get annexed by the Germans again. <laughs> Maybe not. And that is the end of this. <coughs> Excuse me again. I just, I was drinking Dector Pepper before this video. And this is the end of part one to the series. So, um, yeah. By the time, I'm, I think I'm, uh, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Okay, so this video has been recorded on Wednesday and will be edited on Wednesday. So, by the time you'll see this, the video will be uploaded on Friday. So, I guess next week there'll be a part two so please be look please look forward to that um but thank you guys for watching if you made it all the way from the video from actually not <laughs> if you guys actually like watched all the way to the end without skipping it i am like thank you that's actually that makes me happy but yeah not like the vegan teacher you yeah. get a high five yeah but um yeah i hope it's you like the um new thing i introduced with the whole like zoom in to the actual battlefield thing i think that's pretty that's pretty cool isn't it as you guys were watching through all of this you guys get the ethiopian crown yes you you'll be you'll you'll be like part of the ethiopians i guess i guess you are not you're not the king of ethiopia but we had to just wait and see until you know what happens but thank yep. you guys for watching god like thank you i'm a new channel I, I'm new. I'm very new to this, and I'm very happy with what I got done. Um, it just made it way more better that I have my friend here, Shadow Bear. I'll put your channel into the description so people can check you out. Hey. So yeah, like, thank you for actually like you know, watching these guys. Uh, I hope, I hope that we can actually get big in the future, but that's up to you guys. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Thank y'all. I can't wait to expand the series of the Ethiopian Empire into something actually big. Well, this, if this is part one, like, imagine part two. <laughs> and imagine the series after it. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be very interesting. Please look forward to it. Um, I'll see you guys later. I just said, um, like a thousand times. All good? <laughs> All good. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Oh, God.